Today is quite an unusual day. It's not unusual, it's raining outside, which is quite usual. But the project today is quite unusual to what we are normally doing. This is a small scale um, version of a place called Barking Abbey. Now, this base plate here, the bit that the whole scaled down version buildings is going on, was cast in four quarters. Now, normally we cast stuff sculpturally that's either whole or is like a circular section which then can be welded onto something like the Mad Hatter's legs, for example, would then get welded to his um, sort of waist area and then the waist area then would then be welded to the torso. But with panels, it is um, downward fed in regards to the running system. And the problem with panels is if you're casting them thin and you haven't accounted for the distribution of metal to be even so that it gets into all of the edges and if you pour it too hot when it cools down naturally it wants to warp but if you pour it too cold you get cold shuts and you get areas which don't actually pour so I've actually this is my fourth attempt and it's been successful but the other three and I'll just show you because this is a good indication of what can happen I don't know if you can see that but that there is like a banana you can't get any more warp than that and you can see here where the shell may have cracked and that the weight of this metal pushed to the surface giving you this bulge here and actually it's splitting down the edge now we've been 99.9 percent .9 successful with most of our castings but with this one in particular, because it's panel work, it's notoriously difficult. And we managed to find some good castings from this attempt. But what we had done is we got this 10 mil stainless plate and I clamped it to the table because some of them, you're not, you're gonna get, you're gonna get warping. It's inevitable. But what I had done was that I welded the edges square to this stainless plate and I Walked, I, I pinned it down, so I clamped it down, got it nice and square, and then with the other three sections, I brought it square to the one that I got level. And it's actually worked out pretty well. So I've welded them together, ground it back, got myself a backing pad for an angle grinder and a 120 grit, and I've just sanded the whole thing to get it nice and smooth chased in all these letters and then I've just welded all the uh, heritage funding badge, the barking and dagnum badge to the corner. So now what I'm doing is I'm just placing in these walls. Uh, I cut a slit in the bronze and I've placed this bronze plate into the section so it has replicating the wall. Now today what we're going to be doing is finishing off the walling and I've just prepped some plate. I'm going to sand this back, get it nice and um, flush, bend it slightly to marry up with this bend here. I'm going to cut the groove in a bit deeper, a bit wider. I'm going to bevel these edges on this plate and then I'm going to tap a tap a tap a and then I'm going to tack a tack a tack a the wall in place and then we're going to wire brush the whole thing and then hopefully it resembles a wall and the piece starts looking as it should. Mask on. Grinder on. Now this is how you get a delivery off a lorry. So this is our ceramic slurry, and this helps us make ceramic moulds. Mm. 
I'm shit at driving a forklift. I am now just seeing if it fits, and actually, we have given it too much length. It's not often I say that, but we have. We've given it. We've given it an extra couple mil, so it should. You know, it should sit in there, but I need to just shave off that little bit at the end so it sits in nice and flush. Shitting! Shitting! Let's see if this. Oh, yes! Like a glove! As my good old friend Winston Churchill once said. Fits like a glove. <laughs> now I'm going to fit, try being cool there, that section. I'm going to do exactly the same what I did here, but here. And I think that might be a bit easier to do. My famous last words. I'm going to put this on. Because if you grind bronze and you keep not wearing this, one, it's not good for you, and two, Everything tastes really sweet. I don't know what it is, but it tastes sweet. Easton, we have a problem. A problem I can fix! <laughs> Basically, it's a little bit too small. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to shave down this edge and this edge and that's just gonna whoop, it's just gonna whoop, into place now it's all looking quite all right. I'm just going to clean up these edges because actually I don't think they should be um, bashed. So I'm just going to clean these edges up. Zip, nice hard clean edge like this one. And then I'm going to tack weld the walls into place and then I'm just going to then make sure everything's looking nice and sweet and actually it's all looking crisp and how it should do. This, I've just brought over the buildings that actually go on this whole sort of bird's eye view miniature model area. Um, each piece was cast individually and what I am going to do now once the customer has sent me over the digital plan so I can know exactly where these buildings are going in relation to this base. But to be honest with you, it's so big, I can't actually see it going anywhere else other than how it's sat now. Um, but I just need to make sure that all of this bottom part of the building is completely level. We cast this section separate to this section. So I need to take it off the bench, take it over to the workbench and just weld these bits together so that everything is attached, everything sits flat. And then when we find out what the plans are, I can come along, we can draw around it, make sure that everything sits nice and flat and that we can weld it together, weld it on. And then finally, we'll end up patinering. It's gonna go a lovely traditional bronze. So that'll be a, a liver of sulfur, ferric nitrate. And then we're just gonna really bring out the warmth of the bronze. Um, I'm really excited to see what this piece is like. So like I said, it's taken us such a long time to actually get this piece correct because of the nature of what we had to cast. The buildings were a one hit wonder. We cast them no problem at all because of the nature of the shape of them. But again, like I say, the panels have been quite difficult. So I'm really pleased that we managed to actually take our casting to the next level. Um, some boundaries would have been a doddle, but for us, you know, we're still learning day by day. And this panel casting in particular is quite hard. So I feel proud, man, that we were able to do it. So yeah, I'm just gonna get all this level welded together, level flat, weld it on. 
Pito Finito Patanino. You saw the Thurwell Pony Rider the other day that Adam was working on and he's just treeing it up now, adding all the runners and risers. Um, had to chop off the legs in order for us to actually cure the ceramic shell and so we'll cast those separately and then what we'll do once they're cast is we'll weld them back together and then we'll just make sure everything looks nice and fits nice. Um, but we've also got this piece called Storm by Scudura Shields and this, we've done the Ferrari horse before, this is the second Ferrari horse and as you can see it's all been nicely fettled back, ground back and rubbed back with these Brillo pads with a bit of white spirit and some methylated spirits, really cleaned the surface, taken away all of the seam lines and we're going to just chop off his head for ease of casting and this piece is going to be cast in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces the tail included, and then we're just going to weld all those together once cast in bronze, and then it's just days and days of pure sanding because he wants it super, super smooth, and then we're going to send it to the body shop, and we're going to have it beautifully painted like you would a Ferrari car, so we thought we'd keep it in keeping with the sort of Ferrari-esque, and it's going to have a lovely black patina, which is going to be done with baking, ovens, prime coats, butter coats, wash coats, wet coats all the coats, and um, yeah, it's just going to look absolutely stunning. This piece we finished last week. This piece is called Listening. It is by a sculptor called Andrew Litton. And um, it's actually going to Chelsea Flower Show 2023. It's going into the uh, garden, which is sponsored by the Good Samaritans. And it's just quite fitting because obviously the nature of the Good Samaritans, very good at listening and being there for one another, being there for others. And this piece is to represent that essentially and it's going to be sat in this beautiful garden designed by Darren in the Chelsea Flower Show 2023 so if you're going to the Chelsea Flower Show make sure to look out for this bad boy <laughs>